Check, 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 one, two. Check, one, two. Check, 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 check. Three, four, five, six. Remember to talk nice and Why nice was six and afraid of seven? full oh, into the mic. Oh, and loud. Seven, eight, nine. And into the mic. That's all I care about. Thanks for coming back. We're, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Another Dimension. After a long-awaited... Three weeks? Three weeks. We're back. We're going to try to remember how to do this. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm Quinn. I'm Trask. I'm Taylor. And if you missed episode 13, uh, we're going to be releasing that at a later date. Um, hopping in right with episode 14 here, and we'll kick things off. Episode 13, I think Taylor said, is for subscribers only. Subscribers. Coming, coming soon. Coming at you. So how you doing? Good. How was yeah. vacation? Was Haven't good. seen was... you in about three weeks. <laughs> it was nice. Good. What'd you do? Uh, we, we went to Florida, and Can... we... What? I have to bring this up, and this is not anything to do Here we go. with vacation. Here we go, Taylor. But um, you... can you fill me in Here we go. on the broker down in Tampa Yes. <laughs> yes. that you went to visit and why we went to visit him? Back up. Let's, let's unravel kind of the background of it, and then... That'd be entertaining. Let's, yeah. Thrilling. Let's, let's tell that story. So where did this all start? Okay. Leaving well, names, yeah, we leave were on names out. Leave names we're out. We're on vacation, and um, you called me at five thirty at night or I six had some o'clock in the morning. Time in the morning, yeah. one morning. So, uh, somebody that you we took a drive to the Cigar City. To the Cigar City, Taylor. What's the Cigar City? Tampa. Tampa. I took a ride to Tampa because somebody owed us some money. Um. I can what pic- else do you want to know? <laughs> I can picture you like walking into this place, yeah. saying, "Hey, I'm here from Wisconsin," and well, it was, a, it was a high rise in Tampa, downtown Tampa, downtown Tampa. Went by yourself, no floor, protection. F- floor fifteen, suite fifteen thirty. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want to look, if you ever want to look it up, uh, no, somebody owed us money, so I wanted to c- try to collect it, and because uh, they claimed they were. Out, out of business. business. So I went there and... They were still in business? They were in business. Their name was on the door and they were operating and they were surprised, I think. Less than friendly? Less than friendly. Not happy I was there. Um, I didn't get our money. Probably never will. Didn't get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> didn't punch anyone. Didn't punch anyone. Didn't shoot anyone. Didn't stab was, anyone. Was asked to leave, and that, that that's about it. I think you can fill in the rest. That, that, I mean, that's it. It was just yeah. really random. I don't know if we should start off with that, but it was well, just kind of... Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. We, we always try to collect our money, and yeah. we have always been pretty good at fairly it. fairly successful. Yeah. Um, there's been a lot of difficult situations like that. And um, sometimes, I mean, this particular brokerage, I guess... Bloodsuckers. Um, they're blood suckers. They have gone out of business and back into business three times. Three or four, yeah. Yeah. Do they come with new names every time? Sometimes. You did the back the research on yeah, that. Yeah. Right? So a lot of these guys will they'll get a bond. Once that bond is expired after they become like they take So okay, so you have to have a like a seventy five thousand dollar bond to be in the brokerage business. And that bond protects against situations like this. But in today's day and age 75 grand could be 10 loads yep so what they'll do is they will have customers and they will hire carriers say that they're going to pay the carriers yeah and they'll run up um bills or payables for them of you know two three four customer customer pays the brokerage and then the brokerage goes out of business and the carriers don't get paid and then the bond company or the insurance company has to pay that 75 grand to whoever files on the bond as a carrier, whoever put a, in a claim. A proportion of it. Yeah, a prorated yep. based on how. If 100 people file and there's $250,000 worth of payables, yeah. only $75,000 is getting paid out. So you each get a certain amount of that. So people do it all the time. Um, there's obviously cash flow issues when you start a brokerage. Um, a lot of those kind of it's things. Just, it's just, it's bad business. It's beyond that. It's yep. theft. I mean, yep. fraud. I don't whatever you want to call it. Yep. Blood um, suckers. They're blood yeah, suckers. Blood suckers. You know, we've had a couple times where you we want to debate, debate me on that, Adam. 
<laughs> um, I think he agreed with you. He did. Uh, we've had a couple times where we had to collect money. Like I said, we've always been fairly successful. Yeah. I mean, we, this it, it was just kind of random. We, we took a car once. <laughs> <laughs> so... Wait, time out. All right. So we have to finish up how vacation was with your family. Was it good? Was it, it worth it? It was fantastic. Awesome. Yes. Do it again? Yeah. You were pretty stressed out before you left last time. Yeah. Um, came back. Seemed like you were recharged. Um, family seemed like they had a good time. Yeah. Um, now I need to hear about how you took a car. It, it, we didn't... Somebody owed us money. <laughs> and the only... After months of talking the only thing he had was a car and i said i'll take that <laughs> so, so where, where yeah. was it was it around here yeah what kind of car it was a dodge caliber and then i drove it for a while yeah um and then sold it to heather's dad that was that car <laughs> really yeah that's awesome anyway that's anyway cool. that's whatever it's a song for a different time I had something I was going to talk about, and then you had to blast me with something. Sorry. Um, uh, you don't go on vacation much, and it had to be talked about. Yeah. No, we were talking about how we're feeling. I feel great today. Um, we cleaned up most of the projects that we had. Yeah. And that everything went like clockwork. There was a lot of obstacles. Uh, yeah. I mean, everything... There was a lot of obstacles to jump through. Yeah. Um, it took all hands on deck. Chad did a phenomenal job. He had a lot of permits and and um, issues. Um, all the drivers, you know, worked together. Yeah. It it went really smooth. So that that's nice um, to have off our plate. Um, we finally got some trailers empty. <laughs> right. So we're kind of in. It, it, I mean, right now it's Friday afternoon. We're recording. It was it was a pretty cool Taylor. I don't know if you. Kind of the first time you ever saw, everybody was kind of in. Everybody's in the office. Everybody was in a good mood. They were done early for the week. Everybody worked hard this week. But that, I like that. Yeah. Now, from a trying to get work done standpoint. Horrible. It, it, it's really difficult. But, you know, Chad had the, the plan and yep. and dispatch is all done. So it it's, it's really... A enjoyable. Good feeling. Yeah, it, yeah. I, it's awesome. Yeah. Well, um, and going back to the culture video we just got done, I think with everybody being in the office today, it was a pretty good representation of what you guys were trying to say in that video, which is it's a it's a very family like atmosphere. And if you would have been here today to see that from an outsider's perspective, I think you would hands down agree. Yeah. yeah. It was. Stay tuned for the red, white, and stew tour. <laughs> yes. Um, Coming at you. That's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll have to do an episode on that. More to come on that. Right. Uh, one of our drivers, Stuart, is going to go on a – he's taking a vacation th about three weeks, and he's yeah. going every, here, there, and everywhere. Yep. So um, – We're making him a we shirt. Might, we might have to document that a little yeah. bit. Yeah, put a GoPro on his head. So, uh, no, I, I like I said, I feel really good. We had a, a great week. It, and it almost – we've been full throttle for so long. It's uh, It's nice to have a breather. I think you got an important call or what? No, it's a text from a uh, potential driver. So hang on. Uh, what were we talking about? We were just talking about it was yeah. a, it was a good week and yeah. a great feeling. And it for the last two or three weeks, actually probably for the last couple of months, it's been pretty crazy. I mean, you can't you're doing everything you can to keep your head afloat, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and this week around Wednesday or Thursday, things started kind of calming down, which is kind of nice. Like you said, a couple big projects are wrapping up. Um, I'm sure the guys need a little bit of a break, a little mm -hmm. bit easier a week. Um, but we we're finally able to knock out some of the projects that we needed to get done. Yeah. And, um, and next week, everything's basically done. I, sh I shouldn't say everything's done, but planned. Planned. And it's kind of like a nice intermission into the beginning of May, which is back again, kind of. Bunch of projects bunch again. Bunch of projects again. So that's the breather's good. Yeah. Um, let's do uh, let's do a couple more terms. What do you want to do? Um, we might have done this one right. Did we do a shaky town? Yeah. yeah. What about uh, Kojak with a Kodak? A cop shooting radar. 
He got it. There you go. Yeah, I think Kojak was a might have been a detective on a TV series or something, and a Kodak is a camera way that's before right. your time. I, that's how I got it. <laughs> uh, what's an anteater? An anteater truck? Yeah. That's the first truck quick transport ever owned, a Kenworth T600. Bought it from your neighbor? Bought it from a neighbor because of the sloped hood, hood on it. What's a bulldog? An that's a Mac. Okay. It's a Mac. We've got two of them. Do you know on a Mac you get a gold bulldog for a hood ornament or a silver hood ornament? Do you know the difference? Nope. One's gold, one's silver. Do you know the reasoning? Um, one is an automatic, one is a manual. Nope. So Mac is one of the very few manufacturers that make all their own equipment, whether it be their, their axles, their rear ends, their transmissions, their engines. And if you have a silver bulldog, which we have, you have something that is not Mac manufactured in the truck. If you have a gold bulldog, it's a purebred, and it's got all Mac parts. Hmm. Do you know anyone with gold well, you're going to watch now. Yeah, I am going to. Yeah. And then you're going to walk up to the driver and say, I, you got a purebred there. Yeah. That's a nice looking rig. <laughs> What's a dragon wagon? Dragon wagon? Do you like, I can't tell that joke. Never mind. Um, dragon wagon. Dragon wagon. Something with wings? Something that spits fire? No, I'm going the other way. Um, like you're, go ahead. Wait. Telling me that it's a tow truck. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that dragon makes sense. Wagon. Yeah, because they're dragon vehicles, right? <laughs> you know what else is cool? Huh? <laughs> you got a new truck this week. Yep. Travis got a new truck this week. Keith got a new truck two weeks ago. Yep. Chad is undecided, he but he's getting he's something getting. this weekend. I can see it already. Yeah. What are you getting? I'm not getting anything. Why? That makes me feel good. Why? Because I'm proud of all you guys. It makes me feel happy yeah, for you guys. Uh, it's, it's weird. I, my car was old. It was time. I didn't feel safe with the kids in it Yeah. Um, Why? anymore. Why? Uh, well, it stopped twice on the highway on me. You should have seen. Um, it died at Culver's in the drive through and I literally had to have the person behind me push me out of the way. Um, and I was just too stubborn to go get a new vehicle. I... I mean, it wasn't the fact that I couldn't afford one, thankfully, but, like, it, I just didn't want to spend the money. Are and you like me, a vehicle is to get you from point A to point B? I literally B. drive three miles to work. Like, okay, I don't do anything else. Hey, you know what else he bought? A bike because Pedal he bike. was going to bike to work. And I did in the middle of, the, like, it, it was February. Like, yeah, it was, like, how, end of February, early times? March. Once, but it hasn't been warm yet. <laughs> it is literally... 57 degrees. This morning when I woke up, it was 32. It was chilly. Heather makes fun of my man cans already. Can you imagine if I came in with cold freaking man boobs? Hey, but do you know what we'll get of man rid of man boobs? Biking. Biking, biking to work. Liposuction. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it it was just time. I needed to. Um, but I'm happy for Travis. I'm happy for Chad. Yeah, I think it's, it's really Keith cool. Keith got a really cool truck. Mm-hmm. It's trail boss. Struggles of hiring. Yeah. What What are you seeing? What's your opinion on this? What? Uh, why do you think it's so hard to find people that want to work? Hmm. Um, that might open a can of worms. That's well, fine. Yeah. Because that's fine. Yeah. Um, and why Why should it? Why is it this hard? Why would you go to work when you can stay at home and make? I don't even know what it is. Six to nine hundred bucks a week on unemployment. If you have kids, maybe more. Yeah, why why would you go to work? For me, I I don't know if I could sit at home. Yeah, me like me neither, but there's a lot of people who can or yeah. do side jobs yeah. or play video games or whatever yeah. they do. Uh if you look around, everybody is hiring. And unemployment is at an all-time high. It doesn't make sense to me. We struggle with that. Taylor does a lot of our, our recruiting and um advertising and I know Taylor you beat yourself up on some of that stuff but it's when we find a potential hire 
Now we're not we're not poaching. We're not calling people. We're not like we're not a headhunter. We're not yeah. a recruiter. We're advertising, and and if if they want to work here, they can call here, right? Yep. So when that happens, more often than not, we're at least bringing these people in for an interview. Yeah. We want to talk to you. Is there something we can? Can we make this work? Yep. Now, yes, we're very picky, especially on drivers, but we've had, I don't know, let's just say a handful of potential drivers. We've had drivers come in, interview, schedule their, their drug test, and the OT physical, yep. and... Ghost us. Yeah, they just disappear. We've had, we had one this week. He was coming in on Monday. Yep. You called him. You talked to him two days ago, Wednesday. Yep. Called him yesterday to schedule his. I called him that afternoon. To tell him when it was going yep. to be. Didn't answer. Haven't so heard called, from him since. Haven't heard from him since. Everything he said was, hey, I'll be there. I'm super excited. We were about to book a hotel for him. Mm-hmm. Um, he was not from around here. Come here. And then all of a sudden, he just went completely silent. So one of three things happened. He died. He was arrested, or he took a different job. and Or he can't pass a drug test. You don't know. That, yeah, that's four. Um, but the decency, like, just call. And we struggle with that um, because then we, you know, we always look in the mirror. Yeah. What could we have done different? And some of these situations, we couldn't have done anything different. But at the end of the day... At least we didn't hire somebody and go through all the the costs yep. and the time for them to either be a bad fit or just up and leave. Yeah, there, there is a positive. There's in it. A, there's always a positive, but you know the, the thing we struggle with is, you know, what's wrong with us? And it's perceived by us that nobody else has these issues. Correct. Right. Um, ABC company has got drivers or They're whatever full. they need. Yep. And we don't know that that's true. We don't, they could be. Or they could not be. Or they could have the same struggles we are. Yep. So we always, we need to remember that. Yeah. Um, if there's something we're doing wrong, would we change it? Yeah, to some extent. Um, but we are who we are and we want like-minded people. Correct. And there's there's plenty of potentially like-minded people out there. There was a bunch of them in the office today. Yep. You know? And they all were happy. Yep. You know what? So. Um, like I said, Stuart's mm-hmm. taking three weeks off, and he is going to have the vacation that he wants to have. Mm-hmm. Not a eye batted in the office. Yeah. Which is awesome. It's Matt's birthday. He got done early. Yeah. Everybody's everybody's home. Yep. You know who's not home? Don. Us. Who? <laughs> Don will be back about five thirty. Yep. And Bill. Yep. And he's going to be in tonight. Correct. It, I don't know. I just, it was a it's, great week. Yeah, it was an awesome week. And it goes to show that, hey, things go right, things go wrong. But if we can celebrate those good times when they're good, and it helps you get through the bad times when they're bad. Mm-hmm. Um, but as far as, back to the hiring, I mean, it it's extremely frustrating. Through COVID, through all of this stuff, we came to work, every single one of us, every one of the drivers, all that kind of stuff, and they busted their backs. And you know what? We kept everybody busy even when it probably wasn't best for the company. Correct. Um, which... Oh, I'm not packing wood in here! <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is... Uh, yeah, get some! This is about how it goes oh. here. Good timing. Oh. Sorry, guys. That was premeditated. Well, that was weird. And um, <laughs> that's the kind of people we hire, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, that was kind of weird. Oh. I wish we would have locked that door. Taylor. Um, what were we talking about now? We now were this, talking this episode about... went from... <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Dale and Candy. Dale. Th- yeah, by the way, that was Dale and Candy. Um, Special episode with those two. That might be episode 13. That might be episode it's, 13. Yeah. We were talking about hiring, and again, you know, it's it's disappointing when you can't find oh, people. I know what I was going to say is 
all of these people are sitting at home. We, we all came to work, worked really hard, and there's many other people that did that as well. So thank you to all of the essential workers, all of the people that you know continued to work mm-hmm. during this time. And but to it's take ex- advantage of the system. Yeah, and it's, I have no problem with helping people in need. Yeah. Not anyone here has a problem with that. But when you're sitting at home, being a degenerate, go out and get a job. Like, I'm sorry. Do something. Like, do, do something. something. Yeah. And you know what? If you're using the money that you're getting from the government to better yourself or pursue a passion of yours that may help you be better to the society, be better to society, mm-hmm. absolutely. That's what that's for. But don't go buy a new Hummer. Don't go, you know what I mean? Don't go do this or don't go do that. Like $900 iPhone. Use it to benefit yourself. I, that's the part I struggle with. How are you ever going to get someone to work in an entry level job during these times if they can make, like you said, $900 a week at home? This is their way to get their $15 minimum wage, right? That, the, that is a theory. Right? That is a theory. Think about it. So anybody, everybody is hiring. Yep. Like everybody. So if you want to work, you can find a job. Absolutely. Now, if you're making money sitting at home, you don't, why should I work? So everybody's going to have to raise their wages. Correct. To, to attract these people. Eventually, it's going to be at the $15 an hour. I agree with that. But I don't think that a $15 an hour, this is a trucking pod- podcast where we're talking what about we politics. Talking about? So the question this week is, what is the max vehicle gross weight? For any truck or trailer combo, including the load, in transportation? Question mark. Question mark. Yeah. So they're, they're going to have to look it up? Yeah, they'll okay. have to look it up. Unless you know the answer. I don't. Well, I hope Sean doesn't have to look it up. Sean probably will. Oh, boy. That's another thing. What? Oh, Sean got a four-wheeler. Sean got a brand new four-wheeler. Yeah, and he got a new truck not too long ago. Alex is going to look at a four-wheeler tomorrow. Alex from the shop? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How's he going to pull it? I don't, so you can drive, drive it to it. work? Yeah. Nice. Anybody else get anything? Is it like spring spending or what? It's the stimmy money. The stimulus money. <laughs> I'm getting a tree cut down. That's Taylor's what, getting a tree cut yeah, down, which that's, is... Uh, that's what I bought. That'll put a dent in the budget. All right. That's the wrap for this week. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, thanks for tuning in to another episode, and um, see you next week. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Once again... Thank you for tuning back in after a few weeks off. Uh, Quinn had a good vacation. Uh, Things have just been crazy busy around here. So, uh, again, thanks for tuning back in. We're going to be back in here weekly getting this podcast done. Uh, Make sure to follow us on all social media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and our uh, Spotify channel and our uh, on our Apple Podcasts page. Uh, If you could leave us a review and then uh, a star rating, we would definitely appreciate that as well. So. With that being said, um, last thing on the list is we are still looking for drivers. So if you know of anybody who's looking for a new opportunity and, uh, you know, they have flatbed experience, send them our way. We'd love to talk to them. Other than that, have a great week, guys, and see you next week.